Congratulations, well done. Thank you so how much. How brilliant you are. Um, uh, how many hours sleep did you have last night? Um, about two hours. Oh, <laughs> what did you do? Um, I just went and said hello to everyone at the after party, saw my family, um, and then rushed to a hotel um, near here. And had a party? Uh, I wish. <laughs> no. How the hell did you only get two hours sleep then? Um, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. I was just like I'll laying bet. there like... Buzzing oh, how does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. It's just the most incredible feeling and I feel I never thought I'd feel. Mm. Really? Did, was it, did it come as a complete surprise? Honestly, I, I thought um, I would come second. Yeah, did I really you? did. Yeah. It's interesting because the voting figures have shown that you topped the vote on a majority of weeks, six out of the ten weeks. However, Sarah led the vote on Saturday night when the lines were frozen. Mm -hmm. So it was really close, yeah, wasn't it? so close. So, so close. Yeah, I think it was just such an open race. Um, but um, with a little bit of luck and support, I guess, yeah. goes a long way. What was your favourite bit? Because there were many highlights of the two nights of the yeah. weekend. Um, do you know what? Probably just spending time with Sarah and Five After Midnight. They're so great. Yeah. They're so great. They're like my family. So um, just enjoying that whole experience together was amazing. Mm. Okay. I, well, like I mean, you've done rain. some. When you think, yeah, that was incredible. Thank you think you. of the things you've done. I mean, even just over the weekend, and you have performed at Wembley. <laughs> You brought the roof down. And that what we were just listening to there, that was the new single. And this is the this has been written by Ed Sheeran. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty <laughs> bonkers in itself that your first single has been written by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> 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 it's a beautiful song and it's lovely that it's a real Christmas song as well. That's mm -hmm. what I like about I'm it. I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't think it's sunk in for me yet. It really hasn't I haven't had time. I think I need to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow yeah, yeah. and be human. But um, you yeah. won't have time for that. No. <laughs> That's the thing. Your whole life has changed. It's just changed I, completely. I, I know. I can't believe it. I really can't. And you're already number one in the iTunes chart. Yeah. <laughs> so you just need to keep that momentum going now. Yeah, exactly. And and do you think about that? Because it would be lovely to celebrate this with. It used to always almost be a given that the X Factor would be number one. Not not so much in history now, mm. but it, it's it's looking like it could head that way. Oh, that would just be amazing. I think. Um... To have a number one single, that is yeah. just in it's incredible, it's insane. So, um, yeah, hopefully, if I, if I keep on working hard, um, good things will come. So it what were you doing before, before all of this madness? Yeah, um, I was a waiter um, in Bromley, yeah. in Carluccio's. Yeah, nice yeah. one, nice restaurant. Yeah, I love, I love them there. When did you hand in your notice? Um, May. Did you? Yeah, um, I, I left my job and moved home and X Factor came up. And it was just perfect timing, and I. Yeah. But never did I think I'd go and win well, it. Did, it's what, crazy. what do your mates and your family think? I about haven't it? really seen them enough to, to talk to them about it, really. But they're just going crazy. I've got about 50 WhatsApp groups of just uncles and aunties and cousins, and, the, and all of my friends and family just coming together and just celebrating. So oh, you've I'm really done excited. Brilliantly. To go what are we going to expect then? Because now, as history would say, you disappear off, you go and write your album, and then you come back. Mm -hmm. What's going to be your sound? Is it going to be very different to what we've heard, or what would you like it to be? Um, I kind of love like the mid tempo ballads. I love uplifting songs and meaningful lyrics. So um, that is kind of my goal, really. I'd All love right. to go away and write a, an uplifting album. Mm. OK, good. What about we look forward Christmas? To have you got time off? For, uh, yeah, Christmas? I have time off for Christmas. So I'll go home and stay with my family, which I'm, I'm so excited I'm just like looking about. at your people. You look up <laughs> and see, look at your people and see, has he got time off for Christmas? They're all going, mm. Please. <laughs> Very much time off we'll Christmas. see. Um, good luck with everything. We look forward to listening to them. Good luck with the Christmas number one. Thank Let's you. hope you get there. And it's lovely to see you. Well Thank done. Thank you so well much. Well done. Me. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.